sunlight shines its way between the dancing bamboo blades. On windy days, Damyang Jolanamdo province rings with the sound of bamboo blades rustling against one another. Mm, uh. Bin Do Rim and his wife Li Young Hee have made their home in Damyang, enchanted by its bamboo landscape. <laughs> this is the story of two people in love with bamboo trees. Thirty percent of Korea's bamboo trees grow in Damyang. About 20 kilometers away from downtown, a 40-minute drive through streets lined with lush trees and winding mountain roads, sits a small, quiet village. And here, we find a peaceful house. This is the home of Bin Do Rim and his wife. The couple prepares a late lunch. The menu seems a bit unorthodox. <laughs> Korean kimchi bibimbap and Italian carpaccio. It's an unusual mix, but for this couple, it's a familiar sight. Bin Do Rim was a Korean studies major in Germany. While teaching as a professor in Korea, he met translator Lee Young Hee, who specialized in German. Twelve years ago, the couple packed up their city life and moved to Damyang. In addition to gardening, the couple also spend their time making honey candles. Their workshop is lined with beeswax from all over the country. They usually devote their afternoons to their workshop. It takes about two days for the beeswax on the hives to take the form of honey candles hanging like icicles from the ceiling. It's a labor-intensive process. The first step is extracting the beeswax. The honey has been taken out, it is empty, and uh, what is left over is a mixture of um, beeswax, of course, that the bees did themselves. The yellow stuff here is uh, beeswax we use for candles. The beeswax is melted at about 70 degrees Celsius. With the wick tied to the machine, the candle is dipped, pulled out, and dried about 60 times. At the end of the process, we are left with smooth, fragrant honey candles, measuring six centimeters across. A few years ago, Bin Do Rim began making his own candle holders. He uses bamboo dried last fall. The bamboo is cut, smoothed, and shaped into the holders. He pours the beeswax into the holder to complete the bamboo boat candle. This is Bin Do Rim's first design, combining honey candles with bamboo. Damyang is a little bit of a little bit of a little
Honey candles can take anywhere from two weeks to ten years to complete. Learning how to make the candles completely by hand made the couple curious about other handicraftsmen. 어, 그러니까 다른 사람들 어떻게 만드나 그런데 관심을 많이 갖게 되죠. 아, 또 배우는 것도 많고 실제 이렇게 개, 객관적으로 그냥 남이 하는 걸 보고 배우기도 하지만 전혀 관계 없는 일을 하는 분을 만나도 가령 목공 하시는 분을 만나도 새로운 아이디어를 얻을 수가 있어요. 그러니까 그 완전 새로운 거죠. 좀. 그럴 때 굉장히 기뻐요. 나한테서 내한테서 이렇게 저, 전혀 다른 이때까지는 존재하지 않는 새로운 아이디어가 쏟아 올랐다. 그 자체에 대해서 자부심도 있고 굉장히 즐겁고. Another day passes by for the couple, whose new goal in life is to live slowly. That night, Bin Dorim shows his wife a scrapbook about bamboo artisans and suggests a special trip. Yo, the night is filled with anticipation for their journey. The next morning, Bin Dorim dons his best geiryang, or modernized hanbok. To complement his wife's handmade hanbok, he puts on his new shoes. Meanwhile, Lee Young-hee packs honey candles to give as gifts. They're off to meet the masters of bamboo craft. <laughs> The journey this time was about meeting other people who were engaged in the same profession of doing uh, things with your hands, who were engaged in uh, uh, bamboo craft. The first stop is a place that has been producing bamboo salt the traditional way for two generations. <laughs> Bamboo salt master Kim Yun Se. To make bamboo salt, sea salt is stored for three years for its bitterness to dissipate. It is then placed in containers made with bamboo from five pristine regions, including Damyang, and baked nine times. Like honey candles, bamboo salt requires considerable investment in time and labor. <laughs> The bamboo disappears, leaving only liquid salt behind. Like honey candles, bamboo salt embraces slowness. The couple decides to try making their own bamboo salt. Uh -huh. 
This is a simple yet important step. The salt must be pounded very fine for the bamboo not to burst. Bin Do Rim tries stuffing a bamboo container with salt. His wife helps by keeping the rhythm. <laughs> Next, the bamboo containers are sealed with yellow soil. This keeps the salt from spilling out and also neutralizes the salt's toxicity. To make bamboo salt, all of nature's gifts are used wisely. After their hard work, Kim Yun-se treats the couple to a feast. <laughs> now that they know how bamboo salt is made, it's time to see how the salt is used and, of course, to taste it firsthand. The meal is delicious and also helpful, leaving both the host and the guests satisfied. <laughs> The three new friends are advocates of tradition in an age where speed and convenience are prized above all else. With that common philosophy, they share their stories with one another late into the night. The bamboo forest Juknokwan is green all year round. Visitors can follow the forest trail enjoying the essence and fragrance of bamboo trees. The two explore the forest hand in hand. They are like bamboo trees, strong and upright. Side by side, walking at the same pace, they start on their next journey. Every year, Damyang hosts a huge bamboo festival. The most popular attraction is a hands-on program with master bamboo craftsmen. Bin Do Rim and his wife take part in the festival every year and teach people how to make bamboo honey candles. Rather than keeping their hard-earned know-how under wraps, the couple shares it with the world, hoping that more people will use eco-friendly honey candles. <laughs> After the festival, they head off to meet another craftsman. <laughs> Kim Tae-yoon does something very innovative with bamboo. Another interesting uh, gentleman in uh, Damyang who produces uh, bicycles where the frame is made out of bamboo. The couple are experts on bamboo themselves and they are amazed at how Kim Tae-yoon was able to overcome bamboo's natural limitations. Bamboo 
They follow him to his workshop. <laughs> the couple have a good feeling that they'll find inspiration in Kim Tae-yoon's workshop. 이제 저희가 다시 작업할 때는 볼수 있게 도면으로 옮겨놨고요. 대나무를 어, 선별해서 잘라서 작업을 하고 있습니다. 와, 완전 대단하다. <웃음> 수분에 강합니까? 강하죠. 얘를 온 습도로부터 차단을 시켜줘야 돼요. 컨트롤을 해줘야 돼요. 아, 그러기 위해서. 그러기 위해서는 또 긁어내고 오칠하고 그 위에다가 다시 또 UV 코팅을 하고. 다시 또 다. 아, 어마어마한 작업이네요. <웃음> 이게 뭘로? 아, 그러니까 이게 음, 이제 갖고 있는 겁니다. 예, 이런 작업을 하는 거거든요. 아. They learn useful tips on how to process bamboo. This is very encouraging because we should uh, employ uh, new natural materials in order to have a sustainable. Uh, development with our daily life. Lee Young-hee takes a spin on a bamboo bicycle. It feels like a new activity altogether, especially after learning about the process of creating a bamboo bike. <laughs> they promise they'll come back someday to meet the young master artisan once again. Now it's the last stop of their trip. Lee Young Hee seems more excited than her husband. They arrive at the famous bamboo charcoal kiln Jimjilbang in Damyang. Unlike Lee, Bin Do Dim hesitates before walking in grudgingly. <laughs> <laughs> he takes the Jim Jilbang clothes at his wife's urging, but he's still not sure if it's a good idea. He doesn't like the heat. But when else would he have the chance to go to a bamboo charcoal kiln jimjildong? The temperature inside the charcoal kiln is 60 to 80 degrees Celsius. In Korea, people sweat it out in hot rooms as a way to stay healthy. Bin Do Rim loves Korean culture. But even after 30 years in Korea, he still can't get used to the idea of jimjilbang. Initially, this kiln is used to make charcoal by burning wood up to 1200 degrees Celsius. After that process, the leftover heat makes the kiln a perfect dry sauna. <laughs> While bamboo is being transformed into charcoal, the couple feels the heat of the bamboo charcoal kiln. Uh. Bin Do Rim tries to tough it out, but he reaches his limit in 10 minutes. Uh -huh. 
정신 편해? 포인트는 좋은 분이지 누워서 쉬니까 좋다. 아니 뭐 땀나는 거는 괜찮은데. 근데 또 이제 우리는 둘만 사니까 둘이 되게 친한 친구죠. 그러니까 서로 이제 좀 케어 돌 돌봐줘야 된다는 아 그런 그런 마음이 있고. 음. 또 제일 믿을 수 있고 음. 이 사람 하나밖에 없잖아 여기서는. The best part of Jim Jilbang is a cool drink of traditional rice wine after the sauna. Yeah, thank you. 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 It tastes like heaven. So, Tenamu Sukama, Mulku among the new good Tivinia, and Nazi Burga Saram Kuro. Kuomong, <laughs> 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 It's dinner time. And the guests begin to arrive one by one. One of the guests is an old friend from Berlin. Instead of bringing back presents, the couple prepared this small concert for their guests. Precious friends who made the trek out to their remote village to visit. The table is set with food prepared all day by the couple. The new torches are lit in place. At night, the torches glow brighter and the mood becomes more festive. Bin Do Rim and Lee Young Hee always find their best ideas and the most happiness by sharing their lives with others. <laughs> 우리가 부르면은 오는 것은 굉장히 영광스러운 일입니다. 아주 고마운 일입니다. 여기가 가장 편안하고 또 좋고 행복하고. Bin Do Rim and Lee Young Hee have found a love that transcends boundaries. They will continue to write their story together. A story of love that stands strong and unwavering, like the bamboo trees around them. Yeah, thank you so much.